Sunday. Hey. We're walking into the convention center now. On a beautiful Sunday, we are casual pajama Sailor Moon. Because mm -hmm. we didn't want to put on all our Sailor Moon stuff, but we still wanted to cosplay. So, Voila. throw your hairs in some buttons, put on a wig and a hat, and a mask. Put and on your earrings, you wear the ball, and you're good. And you are Sailor Moon. That is Voila. the only requirement. We're almost there, and then the day. This is our breakfast. Oh, Ramune Ramune and uh, Japanese style cheesecakes. Yum. So we didn't want to get up early to eat because the dining ended at 9. Yeah. So we got up and went somewhere else, which was the dealer's room for <laughs> expensive cheesecakes. Woohoo! Yay! When you're building um, a ball gown, there are several ways that you can make a pattern. Um, so you can do things like flat patterning. This is like the fact, or this is the type of pattern that you'll find in Julianne's packet. And you'll have pieces that are laying on paper. You cut them out. You have your pack. Um, you can also do it with draping, which means you have a dress form. Um, are any of you familiar with what people do for patterning in terms of like duct Yes. It's kind of like that with fabric. What you're doing is putting it up on a form, you're looking at your pattern pieces, seeing how things fall, drape, and swing, and that's how you make a pattern. So we have an example from here that this is a flat pattern. This is me draping a corset pattern. I got a shirt. <laughs> Kawhi in the sh Kawhi in the streets. Senpai. <laughs> in the sheets. I love it. I have to walk next to this. I felt like gonna give me that look. Like, well, it's true. So. What wonderful weather this is to drive home in, right? Right. One hour, thirteen minutes of pure rain. Woo! Hi guys, so we got back from the con and we got two types of grab bags. I got this one and I got this. It's a mystery bag, PG-13 sexy special with six prints worth $60 for $10. So we're gonna start with that one. We got this from the Artist Alley and it's hard to open. <laughs> oh no, it's not, it's just difficult for me. Whatever. It's max proof packaging. Anything is max proof packaging. This is what it starts with. Oh my. Um, so all the prints are in here. Plus their business card, which is nice. So we have Rogue. These pretty girls. I like it. The rogue one so far is my favorite. Oh, look, it's me. It is you, isn't it? Yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. Hey. So that's the first grab bag. And then. Oh man, they did the tape thing. This is in the dealer's room. I have an embarrassment to myself and our channel. <laughs> $25. Oh, it's a bag. With a oh. Dude on it. It's a studio type thing. It's a nice bag. You got two saddle bags this weekend. Yeah. So I got a vampire smells funky. Uh. Probably because it's freshly printed. Butterflies, Flowers, Volume 1. Yeah! Uh, Magic the Gathering cards. How long ago? 
Only a second ago. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> the video stopped recording for a second. And I didn't do anything, so... You be your cards? <gasps> you want them? I'm a slut for Yu-Gi-Oh. And... Look at this. Orion. What? Part five... Six. That's not five, that's six. Part six of six, dust to dust. I think that's origin. Well, that sucks for them. They put a wolf in front of them, so that's stupid. Uh, the dyslexic but, one read that. Very good. Grab bag, as mm -hmm. you can see. That's all we have for grab bags. Woohoo!